All right, so there's a bunch of fish I could see there on the surface. One, two, three, four. I'm not exactly sure what they are. I just put a fly in front of one of them. Oh, oh they're starting. <laughs> Catching a 15 pounder in a pond. There's a whole lot of fun on a five way. Exploring a new pond paid off. This looks fishy. I don't know I won't be able to fish here much. I'll get kicked out. Looks like there might be some tarpon here. Oh, oh, pretty, oh yeah, there goes the tarpon. Just landed right behind him. It's always great being greeted. That didn't take long to see one. I want to see if I could catch one. Oh, I definitely spooked the fish of a pretty big wake. Uh, I just saw a tarpon swipe here near me by eating some bait. Oh, there he goes, tiny little guy. But I could see them. There's some bigger fish though. I could see some bigger fish rolling. I did see these little guys though swarming on bait. But there's some pretty big ones. I've seen a couple like in the 10 to 15 pound range. See there? Oh my goodness, look at that on the other shoreline. That was a big fish for sure. <laughs> a little tarpon going airborne here trying to eat bait. There's definitely some big fish here. There's definitely some little fish here. I'm shocked I haven't got a bigger fish to eat the fly just yet. Oh, this fly is fouling up quite a bit. It's already caught a bunch of fish. It's already kind of all beat up. See some more rollers oh okay so a fish has rolled right behind my fly See those big one that's a big fish right here on my right come on there's some big fish in here just need one to eat this fly before I get kicked out of here well, before the rain becomes too hard. Come on, biggins. I know you're in here. I've seen a couple of you big fish already. I wonder if there's a lot of fishing pressure here because these fish are acting like there is. If there wasn't a lot of fishing pressure, one of those bigger fish would have eaten already. So many tarpon. And only a tiny little one has decided to eat my fly. So little that the hook didn't even get him in the mouth. Okay, here goes a big shadow. What are you? That's not a, oh, I just got splashed by a tarpon. What are, there's a big dark fish here on the surface. I don't know what that is. It's not a tarpon. Could be a snook or something else. Meanwhile, I had a couple little tarpon try to eat my fly. Let's 
the amount of tarpon in this little pocket here on the left too that we're just rolling little guys but what is this my leader too short there goes a good fish on the surface I may have landed right on his head come on why aren't they eating my fly there you go a little bit bigger one A little bit of a bigger fish. There's some way bigger ones in here. Finally got a fish to hand. Little guy. There's some big ones in there. There's definitely some big ones in there, but they haven't decided to play just yet. All right, so there's definitely some big fish in here. I have yet to get a big one to eat the fly or show any interest but a lot of the little guys have been swiping it and eating it i've had some really really little ones eat the fly that were just too small for the size hook i'm throwing but i'm gonna keep working it and see if i can get one of these you know 10 to 15 pounders or bigger to eat it let's keep going all right here we go <laughs> Tiny little guy. If I leave this thing out there, he might get eaten by a bigger one. Of how little he is. <laughs> Look how little this tarpon is. Bye bye now. So there's a bunch of fish I could see there on the surface. One, two, three, four. I'm not exactly sure what they are. I just put the fly in front of one of them. Oh, oh, they're tarpon. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Side casting them on the surface. Again, little guy. I like to see some big ones like that. This guy looks like he's gotten hit on the side by something. Come on, I know there's some bigger fish. You see a few more fish laid up on the surface like that here. Oh, the fly hit the water and immediately got swiped. He's landed right in front of a bunch of those fish on the surface. Come on, what are you? Here goes another one. Oh. Fly line got out of my hand and it kind of got away from me. I'm gonna keep moving. I wanna find some bigger fish. All right, and I cannot stress this enough. When you are fishing behind people's house, please be courteous. Make sure you do not backhand cast straight into their screened in porch because a fly will destroy that screen. So make sure you do not hit their porch and work around it. Oh, I just got to eat. <laughs> As I was talking to you, I just got a bite. But yeah, make sure you make sure you are aware of your surroundings and other people's property and belongings and do not disrupt people in their own home or their property. Let's see, some, that's not fish spooking there. That's fish rolling right around there. Goodness. Oh, there goes there goes the school of tarpon. I'm about to cross their path. I'm just seeing them roll. Little tarpon. But it's still awesome to see them swimming like like big tarpon migrating the keys in the school. There they go swarming it.
The water is cleaner in this pond. I wonder why that is. Oh, here goes a tarpon or a snook blowing up on bait. Oh, that's a big wake right there. Oh, oh, spooked something really big off of this bank. There's something big hanging off right behind this rock. Here's a little, little tarpon coming out of the water to eat minnows right on the grassy edge. There he goes, he swiped my fly and missed it. I was out of uh, all black material, so it's actually black and olive as a fish blows up right here, right where my fly just came out the water. He was probably chasing my fly and ran out of real estate or found something else to eat. There's definitely less tarpon in this pond than the other pond. I've seen a few rollers, but I've seen more of those little guys just blowing up on the edge. Oh, that, that was a big, big fish right there. Or I should say bigger fish. Again, tarpon are relative. Saying a big tarpon in this environment is, you know, 10, 15, 20 pounds. A huge tarpon in this environment is like 30 to 50 pounds. But yes, in the ocean, a 30 pound tarpon is small. In the ocean, I catch 150 pounders. 100 pounders. That's when they start getting big when you're in the ocean. But I'm not in the ocean. I'm in a tiny pond in the neighborhood right now. It's relative. Catching a 15 pounder in a pond is a whole lot of fun on a five weight. Even a five pounder. Put a five pound tarpon on a five weight in small water and tell me that's not fun. Other pond definitely had a lot more fish though. What kind of birds are those? They kind of look like Egyptian geese, but at the same time they don't. As I got me a little tarpon. Or is it a little snook? It's a little silver. Look how little this guy is. Tiny little snook. Alright, let's get you back in the water. All right, so now I've caught a few tarpon and one little tiny baby snug. So I'm gonna keep moving. We'll probably, probably try to catch another fish or two as I make my way back to my truck. Exploring a new pond paid off. I guess you can. I guess you can say paid off. I caught a few little tiny tarpon, a little tiny snook. I did see a couple bigger fish, but they weren't having it. So I'm gonna jump on trout routes and check and see if I can find any other canals or ponds that connect to these and see where these fish are coming from because this looks like it doesn't really go anywhere but clearly it does is there's tarpon and snook in here so they got in here one way or another so i'm going to try to trace how those fish made it in here and see if i can find more <laughs> and i'm watching them roll in the pond let's go